The industrialization of agriculture after World War II led to a massive increase in crop yield. Though more and more we face the negative side effects of this boom. About 2,000 pesticides with 500 different chemical substances are being used in the European Union. Which effects do they have on our soils? The European Food Safety Authority provides some tools for modeling, but there is no systematic monitoring. Violette Geissen and her research team have now analyzed pesticide residues from more than 300 soil samples from 11 European countries for the first time. Their results are alarming. What we found out is that 45% of our studied agricultural soils contained glyphosate residues and partly in high concentrations. Up to two milligrams of pesticide residues per kilogram of soil. This doesn't sound like much, but in water, the maximum is 2,000 times lower. And that's not all. Soils not only contain glyphosate. We investigated the residues of 74 pesticides. What we found out is that 83% of the European soils we studied contained pesticides and more than 150 different combinations of mixtures of pesticides. The single pesticide residue concentrations are lower than the threshold value for soil organisms provided by the European Food Safety Agency. Though this is no reason to give the all clear, because the methods actually used in the EU for the determination of the threshold values for soil organisms are not sufficient at all. To get a pesticide approved on the market, only uh, five soil animals and two bacteria groups are tested. But in the soil we have more than one million species, the others are all not tested on the effects of pesticides. And what actually is tested is much less than 1%. Furthermore, mixtures of pesticides in the soils are not tested. Different pesticides can interact in the soils together can have synergetic effects or others, nobody knows. Even though many processes are still not understood, scientists have abundant evidence about the potential risks of pesticides for soil health. For example, they can massively disturb the balance of soil microorganisms. This affects soil health and may increase disease pressure on plants. More and more farmers are starting to be skeptical about their own practices. Ik denk dat het bodemleven ondergewaardeerd wordt in het bijdragen aan een kwalitatief goed product. En ik wil een goed product leveren. Daarbij denk ik dat het bodemleven essentieel is om dat te realiseren. En een van de dingen om die goede grond te behouden is proberen te minimaliseren in, in je kunstnest en misschien ook in chemie. The contamination of soils is not the only thing to be concerned about. Pesticide residues attach to the finest soil particles and are accumulating in the top centimeter of soil. In regions prone to wind erosion, these particles are easily transported by wind and end up as dust in the atmosphere. What we found in our own studies that we found that 10 milligram per kilogram glyphosate attached to the dust particles. And these were exactly in the lung relevant plus, um, particles. That means people inhalate them and they come directly to the lung. Nobody knows the effect of these on human health. Why do we accept all these risks? Is the actual production system based on maximization of the yield sustainable in the long term? For many years now, organic farming has proven that an agriculture without pesticides is already possible. It is maybe more complicated than an agriculture which is based on chemicals. But it works, and it's better for soil health. This ground where we are standing is 10 years biologisch. 10 years ago and now you can't see them all anymore. You can see the development of the in the ground that we 20 years biologisch have. Veel minder problems with schimmels, bacteria. Minder problemen met insecten. Je ziet dus dat een, een bodem gezonder wordt uh, naarmate je langer met de natuur meewerkt.
In addition to organic farming strategies, innovative robot technologies are about to enter the market. They can fight weeds and plant diseases without any chemicals. We see now first solution coming into the arable farming. First to detect uh, stress, then to detect and determine the disease with all kind of cameras and eventually also to remove the weeds. A lot of technology is available to do this kind of work. I think that depends a lot on uh, political decisions of European or countries of other countries in the world. If there is a support to make this technology ready for the practice and give the possibilities for farmers to buy the machines, then it will be very fast. Industrial agriculture is a system developed in the last century. It should be about time now to support more up-to-date and more sustainable solutions for feeding the world.